Hello, my friends. Welcome to number three of my iris flower painting series. <laughs> I've looked at so many um, pictures of irises, it's hard to say. I don't know what the name of the one that I am going for now um, is, but um, there are just <laughs> endless, endless color combinations, and I love to take inspiration from nature, so... This one that I'm going for has a kind of a magenta or violet, red violet um, lower petals and then a lighter shade of the upper ones. So I'm using the leftovers from the previous one I did with the turquoise and this color. This will be my lower petals. And then I just Oh, let's see, I think I took some of the white base coat and just added some of that and tinted to come up with this lighter color. And then it's also got some streaks of um, purple or violet in the, in the petals. So I'm just going to do that same kind of thing with a stick to get that look. The center is beautiful, um, warm yellow and orangey red. So this is cad red light and this is cad yellow deep. So I'm going to use that sparingly, but that will be the the center. And then I have a little bit of this um, pearl pink left. It's, again, it's the only metallic I had used it sparingly in the last one and I have it left over. Very similar in color to this, but I, um, I just want to add a little bit of shimmer to it. And I think there's enough of a difference that uh, it'll be noticeable. So let me pause while I put down the white base coat. This time I did work out my ratios. Again, I'm using the chrome acrylic essentials and I will put the recipe down below. Had to add a lot of water to get to the consistency I want here. Here it is. holding the stick up about three or four inches and it goes straight in. So that's that. So let me pause and I shall return. Okay, I'm back. Now, um, the reason I don't, that I pause and do this on my own is because after I, um, well, there's no science to it. And because I just pour it on and tilt it. And after I do that, then I scrape up the excess and put it in a cup and I can reuse it. So that takes a little time and there's no need for you to watch that being done. I do, if you want to see how it's done, I do show you on the uh, wine pours I did because they're smaller canvases. And then when I'm done with the pour, I'll scrape up those leftovers and mix them all together. And these are the leftovers from the last Pour, iris pour I did. I got a nice robin's egg blue and I can use that maybe for a, a base coat, a split base coat on something else. I have this crazy kind of mauve color waiting to be used or not. <laughs> so anyway, that's that. And then I scraped that all up and, and I knocked the cup over and said a bad word, so it's just as well it wasn't on video. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start very similar to the last one. I mean, it won't come out the same, but I'm going to do the same kind of technique. I'm going to do three small petals. I'll just do it the opposite, um, kind of facing this way. And the bottom petals will be this color. I'll start with the one in the middle, kind of a just a nice little puddle of this color and one there. And here I may have wanted to start down here a little further, but I didn't, so so buttons. Okay. Now um I think I want to do this kind of a thing in these petals. 
more. Probably don't have enough of this. Okay, now the light petals. It's that same mixture, just white with that same mixture tinted. So I know they'll go together. I'll just do a couple of them. Even though there's three, uh, Real Iris has three lower petals and three upper ones, as I recall. But I'm just going to do Take artistic license and just do two. And we'll throw some of that. Well, wait, first I'll do the center. I should have done the purple last um, because this is actually almost part of this. Kind of melds into the into the magenta or red violet petals. In the very center is this deep yellow. <laughs> Looks like three uh, beetles right now. And I think I'll add some of this pearl pink to these to jazz them up a little bit. It was quite pretty on that last one. It's not dry yet, or I would show you. But I will show you on a future video. And I think we'll put a little of that purple, just a little bit of that up here as well. Just a hint. Maybe a little more down, down here. Uh, I think I'm going to add some more magenta. I call it magenta. It's the violet, red violet. And I think I might even, I think I'll add some of this magenta up here too, because it's just too, too pale, too pink, and I need to jazz that up some. That's good, and maybe make these a little bigger. Okay. I keep saying okay and I keep going, but I think I want this one to be the biggest, the biggest one. All right. I hope that's enough for the light pink, but we can add if we must. I never like to add, but uh, if we have to, we will. Okay. Dryer is set on cool and high. Gosh, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Now, do you think I have enough pink there? 
I did add a little more of this color to expand those. I'm, I'm going to add some more pink. My least favorite color, but I think it'll work here. It's selling up nicely. I'm, I'm happy with this new, um, this new acrylic paint. It was a little, well, it wasn't expensive, but by the time you had shipping, it, it was kind of pricey, I thought. But if it works, gives you the effects you want, I guess it's worthwhile, right? Yeah, let's do this. Okay, that should be enough, and maybe a little magenta. <laughs> I'm happy, very happy with the uh, yellow. That's just what I wanted. That warm, warm yellow, it's the center of the flower. Okay. I'm happy, I think that was a good good call to stop and add it now, cause, cause yeah. Okay, here we go. Composition-wise, I just needed to expand that a little further. I think I'm done. Oh, gosh. Call it what you will. Mother Nature, God, I prefer to call it God, is the best artist. I mean, look at these colors I got from nature. Very, very pleased with that. That's the orientation that I made it in. I think I, I like that. So, let me bring you in for a closer look. I'm very pleased with the appearance of these cells. Kind of a lacing cell. It's the shape, the shape, the shape and size. I like. These colors are wonderful. I really like Grumbacher paints. And um, that bright, the warm yellow. And I was. Um, Soho. I like their paints as well. Got a little bit of green in there, but that's fine. Every plant has green in it. The blending of the purple and yellow. But I think it all works. Oh, look at that lovely lacing there. Oh, I like it a lot. And you don't hear me say that very often, although I've said it about the last two. <laughs> so okay my friends I'm not going to mess with this one at all thank you for joining me and I hope you'll come back for more bye now